hi. Um, I am not in my garden right at the moment, although I have been out there today. Um, it was supposed to rain today and the wind is blowing. It makes it really hard to record outside. I don't have um, um, the equipment to deal with wind noise very well. You probably noticed in some other videos. So I'm in my studio slash office um, and um, I just wanted to share about how I manage my seeds because it's a chore that can be done when it's raining or windy or um, crummy outside <laughs> and it's something that I need to manage this time of year as the, um, the time for planting seeds is um, not over. It's not really, it's, it's not over because, you know, like in a month I'm going to plant seeds for the winter garden. And I'm still planting things like like short season crops, like we just put pumpkins in the ground yesterday. But, um, and, um, oh, and I still have other winter squash too, to, to direct so, and that's fine. Um, but um, a lot of like, a lot of my seeds are ready to be put, have been ready to be put away for the season. And I just did this chore and I wanted to show you how I manage them. Um, I happen to have a very large collection of seeds right now. I had used up quite a few of them. Um, I mean, I always have a lot. I'm um, always buying, always buying seeds. And um, one good thing to know is that while seeds have an expiration date, those expiration dates don't mean a lot. Um, I planted seeds this year from 2000 that were dated 2014 they germinated just fine. Sometimes their germination rates go down and it depends on what type of seed they are. Um, but for the most part, um, plant stuff, if it's old, pre-germinate it. And we can talk about how to do that another time. I'll make myself a note for the next, to make a video the next time I pre-germinate something. Um, but this is just about how I store and manage my seeds. So let's, um, let's take a look. Okay, so this is kind of an awkward view, but um, I store my seeds in a binder and it's just a, like a regular old, let me turn it sideways, um, you know, uh, from Target. Uh, I think it's a two inch. I would go with a three inch. This one might have to be replaced um, because when it's really full, it like, it won't close. So um, I store them in a binder in, um, these these sleeves and their photo sleeves for I like four by six photos is that right four by six three by five I'll put a link in the description to I bought them off Amazon and um, you can see right here I and I I tend to store them in categories based on what type of seed they are so I have my greens because they're the first thing I plant in the spring um in the front um and onions which I plant at the same time peas would come next so peas and then um this may seem strange but because I'm also starting seeds in my greenhouse pretty early in the spring um um cucumbers and it's like it's only just like it's sort of just like evolves because they come out and I have different types of seeds at times and you know, if they're basically in the same area, then I'm happy. So then I have tomatoes and I actually don't have very many tomatoes right now because I, I didn't buy a lot of new varieties and I used up a lot of varieties this year. So I will get to buy some new varieties next year. Um, beans. Um, you also get a little, little peek of of who I buy seeds from, um, love, um, and my gardener, um, territorial seed savers exchange, victory seeds. Um, but I am, I'm not a snob. I'll buy Livingston seeds off of the rack if I, if they're a good deal. It's, you know, I, so cabbage, um, these are, I just bought in preparation to start um, uh, cabbage grows best in the spring and in the fall, so I'm getting ready to harvest cabbage right now, but I will start new seeds um, next. So carrots, 
So that's how I store seeds. Um, and then my herbs are in the back. There's other roots in here. I'm not going to go through every page. Um, so that is how they get stored when they're not in active use. Okay, so when they are, when I am getting ready to plant them, like, so I'm getting ready to plant winter squash, which includes pumpkins. I want to direct sow some more basil. I just got some, I've never grown holy basil before, but um, I'm going to try to uh, direct sow it um, and to try some starts, see how it goes. It might be too late in the season for it, I don't know. Um, if I save seeds, they just go in an envelope um, and they fit right in here, just like the seed packets do. I, these, I, this, it, I have to fold them a little bit. But so things that I am planning on, still planning on seeding, um, go in this little bag that I can carry around. I can carry it around my garden. I can carry it around um, and add seeds in it. They just happen to fit just right. And these are what I pull out so that I have them right ready to go into the garden when I'm ready to plant them. Um, and it's, yep, no, it's nothing to it. I, I would put a link to it, but I've owned it for a long time and I think it came from um, like one of those buy at home places. I'll see if I can find out where it came from if it's still available. Okay. All right, and that is how I manage my seeds. Um, now, for a long time, they just lived in, I, well, I've tried a, a couple of different ways. And for a long time, they just lived in a shoebox. And if that's how you store your seeds, that's great. I But I was finding that I was buying seeds that I didn't need. I'd have duplicates. And, um, and I saw somewhere that some other gardener did this. And I wish I could tell you who, but I can't remember. And um, I was like, oh. That's brilliant and it's worked really good for me and this is my second year doing it and um, I keep it in I happen to have a pantry in my house that is in the center of my house and it stays cool and dark and um, so keep in mind that as you're storing them um, that they should be kept in a cool dark place and that helps keep their um, viability high and um, that's it. That's all I have to say about storing seeds. Um, if you have questions about it, um, then uh, ask me in the comments. Okay, bye. Talk to you next time.